Hello everyone. Today we will study the moment of inertia of a rectangular lamina. For that, firstly we have to decide an axis about which we want to find out the moment of inertia. Our first case is to find out the moment of inertia of the rectangular lamina about an axis passing through its center of mass and parallel to its one of its sides. Let us consider A, B, C, D be a rectangular lamina of mass m, length l and breadth b with g as its center of mass as we can see here. Now let us consider that y y dash be the axis parallel to the breadth of the lamina and passing through its center of mass that is g and we will find out the moment of inertia of this lamina about this y y dash axis for that we consider a small strip of length or of the thickness dx at a distance x from this y y dash axis and first we will find out the moment of inertia of this strip about this axis and then with the help of that small moment of inertia we will find out the moment of inertia of this complete lamina about this axis. So let us proceed further. We have considered a small strip of length dx and Therefore, as it is a rectangular lamina, therefore its area will be equal to length into breadth that is equal to dx into b or we can say b into dx. Now, since capital M is the mass of this complete lamina, therefore the mass per unit area of the lamina is equal to mass upon area and that is equal to mass upon length into breadth. Therefore, the mass of the strip will be equal to the mass per unit area of the lamina into the area of the strip that is equal to m upon l into b into b dx that is equal to m upon l into dx. Now, the moment of inertia of this small strip about this axis y y dash is equal to the mass of the strip into the distance cos square. Therefore, that will be equal to the mass m upon l into dx into distance square that is x square. Now, with the help of this small moment of inertia, we will find out the moment of inertia of the whole lamina about this y y dash axis by integrating this small moment of inertia between the limits. Now, what will be the limits? As we can see clearly that this y y dash axis is at the center of this length side. That is to the left of this y y dash axis here it is a length of l by 2 and same l by 2 is the length to the right side of this y y dash axis. Therefore the limits of integration will be x is equal to minus l by 2 to x is equal to plus l by 2 that is from side AD to side BC. Therefore, the complete moment of inertia of the whole lamina about the axis will be equal to integration minus L upon 2 to plus L upon 2 of M upon L dx into x square that is the small moment of inertia. Here, this small uh, this term m upon l is a constant term and therefore it can be taken out of the integration and the integration of x square will be proceeded. The integration of x square is equal to x cube upon 3 between the limits minus l upon 2 to 2 plus l upon 2. Putting the limits we will get the value the moment of inertia is equal to m into l square upon 12. This is the required moment of inertia about an axis passing through its center of mass and parallel to one of its sides. Here that side is equal to is the breadth of the lamina. Same way if we have to find out the moment of inertia of the lamina about an axis x x dash that is parallel to its length side then that will be equal to by taking a note from this moment of inertia that will be equal to mass that is m into b square upon 12. This is the required moment of inertia about the axis x x dash. Now our next case is to find out the moment of inertia of the lamina 
about an axis passing through its center of mass that is g but perpendicular to its plane suppose z z dash be the required axis that is passing through its center of mass that is g and perpendicular to its plane since this axis is perpendicular to its plane therefore naturally this will be perpendicular to the two axis x x dash and y y dash also therefore here we will use the principle of the principle of perpendicular axis that says that i z that is the moment of inertia about z z dash axis will be equal to i x plus i y that is the moment of inertia of the lamina about x x dash axis and about y y dash axis therefore that is equal to as we have find out earlier i x is equal to m v square upon 12 and i y is equal to m l square upon 12 therefore this moment of inertia i z will be equal to m upon 12 into v square plus l square this is the required moment of inertia now our next case is to find out the moment of inertia about an axis passing through one of its sides say side a d an axis z z dash is passing and this is a required axis therefore for this we will consider a small strip of length or of thickness dx at a distance x from this z z dash axis as we have done in the first case also therefore the small moment of inertia of this strip about this z z dash axis will be equal to the mass into distance square that is mass m upon l into dx into distance x square and now to find out the moment of inertia of this whole lamina about this axis we will integrate this small moment of inertia between the limits and now what will be the limits the limits will be from side ad to side bc that is from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to l now we will proceed with the integration the complete moment of inertia will be equal to integration from 0 to l of m upon l x square dx again m upon l can be taken out of the integration and integration of x square comes out to be x cube upon l between the limits 0 to l putting the limits will get the value of the moment of inertia is equal to m l square upon 3 in the same way if we consider an axis passing through side a b or d c then we will find out the moment of inertia is equal to m b square upon 3 now our next case is to find out the moment of inertia about an axis passing through the middle point of one of its sides as we can see here and also perpendicular to its plane let us suppose that e f is the required axis as we can clearly see from the figure that this ef axis is parallel to z z dash axis that is also passing through the center of mass of the lamina and perpendicular to the plane of the lamina and we have already find out the moment of inertia of this lamina about this z z dash axis and that is equal to m upon 12 into l square plus b square here since we have the two parallel axes ef and z z dash therefore we will use here the principle of parallel axis that says that the moment of inertia about ef axis is equal to the moment of inertia about z z dash axis that is i z plus m h square where m is the mass of the lamina and h is the distance between the two parallel axes and here this h is equal to the half of the length of the lamina that is l upon 2 here we have upon calculations we will get the total moment of inertia of the lamina about this e f axis is equal to m into l square upon 3 plus b square upon 12 this is a required moment of inertia about the axis e f thank you